video. What we like to share today is uh, how we can use a chilling advanced binary emulation framework to connect to IDA Pro or to, to let IDA Pro connect to a chilling framework to do a reverse engineering. So uh, before we start to talk about the details, okay, uh, we would like you to uh, follow our go to our GitHub page, right? And then uh, to give us a start to uh, follow our project to uh, know the uh, latest uh, development. Uh, we just uh, finished uh, updating uh, the uh, entire GDP connector uh, more or less uh, two hours ago. So, uh, in order to start this uh, demonstration, we would like to uh, uh, we, we, we pick a very, very basic uh, EOF uh, challenge, all right? EOF uh, CTF challenge, and then uh, we will open up with uh, uh, IDA Pro and connects to a chilling framework, and uh, we'll see how we can analyze this entire binary uh, uh, CTF challenge. Um, we will put all the URLs in our uh, comment below, and uh, because you can always download and try it. Okay, so what do we have here? It's a uh, this is how it works. We have the uh, oops. Okay, so this is how you set up a uh, chilling. Of course, uh, the thing you need is uh, to import. You don't really need this part over here, so you can ignore this the upper part. But uh, you only need this part, all right, to import the uh, binary, of course, to set up the entire uh, chilling uh, framework. So a few things that you need it's uh, you need to put in the file the targeted binary. The root fs this will be the root fs will be in the uh, roots in the the basic uh, slash the root system it's a simulated jail environment okay and uh the last one is the output output it's not important you can set this either off you can set silent you can set default or you can make it as a debug mode and then uh, obviously to run the binary so uh but what we have added uh, the last couple of days is uh, the GDB option. Okay, to make things simple, you can simply do ql.gdb equals to true. Then it will listen on port, it will listen on localhost and port 9999. Okay, so GDB equals to true, it will listen on localhost and port 9999. Or if you put in an option to listen on uh, 0.0.0.0 and port 999, of course it will listen on whatever port and whatever host your uh the, the ip that is being uh, selected okay so and on the gd uh on the uh, ida part on the ida part is a uh, very simple you can open up the file okay so uh, to pick up the uh binary of course we don't need all this so mm, we don't need all this i'm gonna kill it and uh, to stop ida from uh from uh, reading it Okay, open up binary as a brand new binary, uh, EFF uh, 64 bit file. Okay, obviously the Windows is way too big for you to. Uh, okay, I'm not too sure whether you will listen. I, I heard some weird noise and uh, disturbance noise. I'm not too sure whether you hear it or not, but uh, please do bear with me. Once I apparently, uh, it seems like once I turn on uh, IDA, the uh, the sound will come out. Okay, so what do we have over here? It's uh, the binary. So first thing first is you can see the base address is not there, and we need the base address in order to make a in order to make a, a remote debugging happens properly, especially set settings a breakpoint. And the other thing we notice is uh, if you try to open up QEMU user mode together with a, a GDB server. They will not provide this function, and you have to find out where's the base address and set up the base address up manually. Okay, so uh, what do we need over here is first we need to of course select a debugger. It's a remote GDB debugger, and uh, hopefully one day if uh, you know times allow and opportunity allow, we should be able to write or to reverse the uh, remote Linux debugger. So for now, it's a GDB debugger. You're gonna set up option, of course, uh, the uh, IP of my uh, chilling emulation framework. Okay, and uh, the port 9999. 
Alright, so uh, what do we have over here? Okay, so what's next? Uh, okay, again, just to make sure. 192.168.124.100. So... 192.168.124.100. Alright. And uh, the debugging option. We might want to start we might need to, we might need to pause at the uh, debugging start or the entry entry point, make sure the architecture is correct. So now everything is set. We're gonna go back to this, and to run the GDB listener. Okay. So what do we have here? It's a uh, we executed the binary using chilling framework in our complete. Uh, advanced emulation environment within the uh, root FS and listen to this IP and this port so 0 .0 .0 .0, port 9999 okay now I have to play this yep and uh, attach to if attach to it uh, of course so I have to resize the window again Do -do -do. Okay, so what you can notice over here, it's uh, there is a base address for sure. Okay, we already got the face address, which means we can't do a direct um, breakpoint right now. So if you switch to this mode, okay, and we're going to stop here, okay, just to make sure we got the uh, direct address. So the rebase is being done. If I can show you the rebase. So the rebase is being done uh, automatically. And now let's go back to uh, this one. Okay. So we know there's a jump over here. So we can ignore all the rubbish up here. And uh, we need to set a big point over here, most probably over here. And there's a script string compare. There's a secret. So yes, something around this area would be good. And uh, we're going to run this thing again. This one's on the uh, GDP, port 999. Start again. Yes, sir. So, you can see the thing I started, load all the uh, different uh, library, library via Shilling framework. Okay, set up a new breakpoint at the uh, entry point. So, then do F9. So, you can see uh, the binary change over here. And F9. Okay. It stops at our first breakpoint. So the first breakpoint simply means okay. So you can see there's one green arrow and a red arrow. Red arrow says cannot allocate memory memory space, so it doesn't really matter. So we implemented malloc and we implement a few more things in our chilling framework. Okay, and if it goes down more, so you can see it will stop ff get, but it will not show. It doesn't really matter. So f stat f get. So this is one of the syscall that we have uh, implemented. So obviously this is a wrong code. So it stops at the breakpoint that uh, we are uh, asked just now. So what you can see, what is insect secret? It's n whatever thing there is. This whole stretch of a uh, string. So this whole stretch of strings, and uh, we know that it's going to be wrong, but it doesn't matter. Let's go on. So F8, one step down, one step down, one step down, and one step down. See, it's actually going to the other uh, green arrow says uh, wrong, and please try again. And this is your actual flag. So this is what we are looking for, and apparently we are going to the wrong way. So we're going to stop this, all right, and more or less we know the secret is what we want, okay. So before execution and after execution is way totally different because there's a flag generation, uh, 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 flag generated uh, uh, functions over here. So let's go back to here, 
start this again and we're gonna stop here okay so we're gonna do an F9 gonna do an F9 again so we don't need this breakpoint anymore and uh, this is a flag generator and this is where they store the flag so these two things is clear right now so we're gonna do F2 so we just need to make sure this part it's uh whatever this part is jump to the right place so we still keep the uh breakpoint over here okay so we still stuck it here now we're gonna do f9 it should stop it, it will be running now so let's look at the window ask for the flag and put in the flag So it still say wrong. Okay, for some reason it still say wrong. So so if we're gonna see this clearly, gonna F8 one more time. It jumps here and the print F. Okay, of course it it haven't come to print F yet, but we know for sure. It comes to be a wrong password part so we're going to stop this thing again okay before we stop uh we're going to look at the secret again because if we stop we will it will not go through the generate flag and the secret flag will be different so if you look at the secret flag again right now it starts with end and end with s that is what we have copied just now but one thing that we miss out is the realignment of the uh IDA Pro. So there is one more character over here. So 6A simply means J. It's a J. Okay, J and H. So fair enough. Let's go back. We miss our J. So we only leave one uh, breakpoint over here. And we're going to stop it. Okay. And we're going to start it again. Of course, we have to start the server. Click OK. Attach. All right. Stop. Stop at breakpoint. Ta-da. That's fine. OK. So J and this one. So now, after we put in the correct address, which will be RX, then uh, the next jump will be here. So, do F8. So, this time, the secret is definitely correct. Your flag is complete. Okay, and then you call printf. Then, before it jumps to the uh, end, we will get our flag over here so okay so as simple as that this is how we can uh, perform a complete um, GDB with uh, uh, IDA Pro with uh, IDA Pro's GDB server together with uh, uh, Chilling's uh, GD okay Chilling's uh, GDB server with uh, IDA Pro's uh, GDB connector and this is uh, how the interaction and how we can solve a CTF challenge. Thank you for watching.